नमस्कार टुडे टॉपिक इज वाटर गैस वाटर गैस इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन द कंपोनेंट ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड इज अराउंड फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू परसेंट एंड द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज अराउंड फोर्टी एट टू फिफ्टी वन परसेंट वाटर गैस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सिंथिस गैस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ब्लू गैस It is a combustible gas, and in around the year nineteen fifty, it was supplied through pipelines to the houses. It is still important because it is used for the production of hydrogen, and hydrogen has many other application in the industries and um, in our daily life. The synthesis, as far as synthesis of the hydro uh, water gas is concerned, it is produced. Uh, it is synthesized in the water gas producer. The representative diagram of water gas producer uh, has been drawn here. Right. Generally, water gas is produced by passing steam and air, steam and air at alternate intervals. Through a burning bed of red hot coke, this is a bed of red hot coke, where air and steam are sent at alternate interval for the generation of water gas. This is a pulley. This is the inlet for coke, right? This is inlet for air. This is inlet for steam. This is a grating. Below this grating, the coke or any other material, coke or coal, whichever is used. this cannot go below this grating below this grating only ash passes and this is an outlet for ash now the um, uh, gas producer is made up of steel the material of the gas producer is outer material is steel and this material uh, outer material is lined inside with the refractory bricks because the temperature of this red hot coke has to be maintained at around 1000 degree for production of water gas so this is all about the representative diagram uh, representative diagram of the water gas producer now coming to the chemical aspects the chemical reactions involved in the production of water gas water gas produ uh, production generally consists of two steps the first step is passing air into the uh, red uh, into the coke when we pass air into the coke the this air helps the coke to burn and increase temperature of the system right this uh, process is also known as the hot blow right this is known as hot blow because when air is passed through the coke it helps to burn the coke and increase temperature of the system and the reaction involved during burning process is mentioned here this reaction a is involved during the burning process right carbon is supplied from the coke oxygen and nitrogen are supplied from the air nitrogen cannot be ignored because it com it comprises 78% of the air uh, is composed of nitrogen oxygen and nitrogen are supplied from the air carbon is supplied from the coke carbon and oxygen react to form carbon dioxide and nitrogen does not react and the important thing is that when this reaction happens this reaction is highly exothermic in nature and it releases a lot of energy with the release of energy in the system the temperature of this coke rises to 1000 degree celsius when the temp when this reaction happens on a large scale the reaction a happens on the large scale and the temperature of the system rises up to or above 1000 degree celsius then supply of air is cut down right i'm repeating it again that we supply air reaction a takes place reaction a um, i have shown you the reaction a takes place and the temperature of the system increases to 1000 degree celsius when the system uh, temperature increases to 1000 degree celsius the supply of air is cut down and steam is introduced the introduction of the steam is the second step in the production of water gas and it is known as the cold blow 
the passing of the steam through red hot coke whose temperature is 1000 degree celsius is known as the cold blow and when steam is passed the reaction b takes place the carbon of the red hot coke the reacts with the steam to generate carbon monoxide plus hydrogen and the reaction is endothermic in nature now see carbon monoxide plus hydrogen this is our water gas this is our water gas we have obtained our water gas and the reaction is endothermic in nature and as soon as this reaction proceeds it absorbs a lot of energy generated from the reaction a and the temperature of the system may fall below 1000 degree celsius when the temperature of the system falls below 1000 degree celsius the reaction c starts occurring in the reaction c carbon may react with the steam present in the gas producer to uh, to give carbon dioxide plus hydrogen now the reaction c is not desirable because it is producing carbon dioxide and we do not need carbon dioxide in water gas we just need carbon monoxide and hydrogen so when the temperature falls below 1000 degree celsius the supply of steam is cut down and supply of steam is cut down in the process and supply of air is again started when supply of air is started the reaction a again starts happening reaction b and c stop because no steam is present and reaction a starts happening in reaction a again the temperature of the system is increased because the reaction is exothermic in nature right and the temperature of the system and the supply of air is maintained until the temperature reaches to 1000 degree celsius or above then again the supply of air is cut down the temperature is 1000 degree celsius steam is passed when steam is passed reaction b happens water gas is produced water gas is uh, collected over here and when um, the reaction is endothermic in nature the temperature falls below 1000 degree celsius some of the reaction c takes place but then the cycle again starts that steam is cut down and then air is supplied so this is the cycle which is followed during the synthesis of water gas now the important thing to mention here is that the water gas is produced only above 1000 degree celsius so the temperature of the system has to be maintained from 1000 to 1100 degree celsius which is known as optimum temperature for the production of water gas whenever temperature falls below 1000 degree celsius carbon dioxide is produced so the maintaining temperature around 1000 to 1100 degree celsius is one of the essential aspect for the production of water gas now coming to the next uh, this is all about uh, the synthesis of water gas three reactions are involved a b and c as i told you reaction a occurs when air is supplied it burns car it burns the carbon present in the coke and increases the temperature then steam is supplied steam reacts with the highly heated red hot coke to produce water gas up to 1000 degree celsius right and when the temperature falls below 1000 degree celsius the supply of steam is stopped and air is again started so this is how the water gas is obtained in the industries and the composition of the water gas obtained may con it may contain carbon monoxide 40 to 42 percent hydrogen 48 to 51 percent so these two gases are the main components of the water gas carbon dioxide nitrogen and methane may be produced but these are produced in very uh, less percentage the calorific value of water gas is low it is around 2600 kilocalories per meter cube when it is burnt it produces a blue flame right 
it is used the water gas is used for heating purpose in the industries and the main utilization of the water gas is production of hydrogen which is a very important gas for the industries now i want to mention here one more last point that nitrogen when air is supplied nitrogen is added to the water gas and nitrogen is nowhere required in the production of water gas the water gas just requires carbon monoxide and hydrogen and it also decreases the calorific value of water gas so instead of using air if we use pure oxygen from uh, pure oxygen from the air inlet if pure oxygen is supplied from the air inlet then we get more purity in the water gas component right because the nitrogen component of the water gas can be decreased by supplying nitrogen component can be decreased by supplying pure oxygen instead of air during the synthesis of water gas the, uh, so this is all about the synthesis of water gas in the industries thank you so much